Hello and welcome to another Yolda Raffleps hobby video. It's been a while since I've done a hobby one. Um, I've kind of gone off doing the hobby ones a little bit. Uh, but this is quite an exciting one. You can see I've got a load of big boxes in front of me. Uh, my Hagwathon Hollow Kickstarter has arrived. Um, I don't want to do an unboxing where I literally get everything out of the boxes because I think that's a bit boring. I thought I'd just show you what all the boxes look like. Then I'm going to get everything out. Uh, I'll put the boxes away. I'll start the video again. And we'll have a look at putting them all together. Uh, I'm very excited about this. This is quite it was an expensive Kickstarter. Me and Jack did it together. Uh, all pre-painted, all resin. Um, not too heavy, actually, surprisingly enough. Um, it's all come really well packaged. It's all in every single section. is wrapped in its own piece of polystyrene um, in two huge boxes. Um, so, yeah, looking good. So I'll get it all out on the table in front of us on here. Uh, and then I'll put it all together. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so here's all the bits out. Um, I think I've put all the right bits together. I haven't actually put the bits together yet. So we've got uh, some ruins. This is the wizard's hut. This is the guild hall, the wizard's tower and the tavern. And basically they come in, so the big buildings come in three bits. You have a dungeon bit, which you can not have. Um, you can just have the first floor Second floor roof, and then this one's got a little spire going on top. But I haven't done it all, so I've got the dungeons for all of them. Um, so simply, we'll just do, yeah, that just goes on there. Now, there are magnets, and I tried doing this, and it's, it's supposed to come with magnets. You can't see them under there very well, you can see them there. But what I've gathered so far, it's the only disappointing thing about it is the magnets do nothing at all. They actually they don't work or hold it in place whatsoever. But they're quite chunky and heavy, so I can't see them being knocked over or anything. So I'm not too worried about it. And that was a free add-on from the Kickstarter, so it's not like I paid for the magnets and I'm not disappointed. Goes on there. That went to the chimney. So there is the guild hall. Let's put that around our village middle. There's the wizard's hut, put that in. And we've got wizard's tower. Um, that goes like that, downstairs, go there, there appears to be a way in the tower that's in there, <laughs> and then back to the whole top again, magnets do nothing at all, unfortunately even on the line move, doesn't do anything but, never mind, I'm not too worried about the magnets, like I said, they were free last stretch goal, like there's the, this is the tavern, this is the big one, Go there, just like that. Big piece of terrain. This is the, by far the biggest terrain we own now. Um, and yeah, the rest of that. And there's the tap, which is huge. Uh, and we've got some ruins in the background. I don't know, they're nice. They're chunky and sturdy, but they're not too heavy. If you have it. Um, I'll take the camera off the stand in a second so I can show you some close-ups of them because they look really cool. And I'll show them on a 3x3 three three mat because I mean, we're going to use this for Moonstone, obviously. I mean, they look like Moonstone terrain. It's perfect for it. So I'll, I'll move them to the side. I'll put the 3x3 three three mat out and you can see what they look like on how, how much space they'd fill on a 3x3 three three mat because this is obviously a 6x4 mat. Um, and we'll go from there. Hey, here we have it set up on that 3x3 three three Moonstone board, Moonstone mat, you're so um, familiar, anyone who's watched it, watched some Moonstone games. Um, and it looks amazing, look at that, it fills the entire board with all these pieces of terrain. And we could still even use like our trees that we've got, the boxes and things I've got to create more scattered terrain. Um, I could even use our little thatched cottages if I wanted to, to mix it in. Um, anyone who's watched channel before will know we have those kind of things. Um, so obviously what's really cool about these things as well is you can get right inside. So uh, if a character could can say be transcombobulated by Shabun, they can go right, right up here and sit up there, look out the window, shoot stuff. Um, same within the tavern, so if I lift this off, big heavy bit, they can be in there, which is really cool. Um, same with the guild hall, I've got to be careful, I've just got a roof, take that one off first. And then it can go inside there, or even inside the dungeon, which is in the lower level, I've got to be careful doing this, sorry. But yeah. That's what the whole thing looks like. The only thing that's one piece is the wizard's hut. 
So that's just one one bit. This bit, I had forgotten you can mount these things up together. So that goes on there, which actually is quite cool. Well, that, that one, those magnets actually work. Um, only one that does, none of the other magnets work. Uh, stick around, give me a closer look. Doors and windows, this is all pre-painted. I'm so pleased, I'm so pleased we paid for pre-painted. Did not want to paint all this. All inside, it's all nicely painted. It's not, I mean, you, know, you look at the painting on the door, it's not like perfect or anything, but I don't want to paint it. <laughs> and it's obviously just been like dry brushed for some of it, but that's fine by me. Um, let's close this one as well. Windows, all this stuff painted. All the type of details inside, so I take a tavern off. A bit of polystyrene, but benches, doors, everything's painted all the way around. Um, oops, let me just put that on, sorry. Excuse the camera. I've got the little totems. Eight different ones, they were uh, free, part of the Kickstarter. And a little thing in the middle. So there we go. That is my Hagwathon Hollow Village, which I am incredibly pleased about. It's awesome. I can't wait to play a game when we've done this. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you next time.